welcome to We Are 863, where we, <laughs> including you, are 863. Mm. What is so funny? Why do you always laugh at me when I do this? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the way you said, welcome. We this are guy pisses me off. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so today, what are we doing? I think we're going to do something new, something fresh, and something original today. Oh, we're going to look at spellbound. spellbound theories, memes, and discoveries, and mm -hmm. as well as Reddit. Yeah, groundbreaking stuff. Groundbreaking We've never done stuff. that before. But we need to, because subject four has always brought us all of the clues and mm -hmm. discoveries that we keep missing. So take it away, Samantha. All right, folks, when you're on Spellbound Plus, go over here to stories. Bam, that's how you find everything. Oh, by the look way, that. Project 863 Plus, you get all sorts of exclusive dope mm -hmm. things. So you make sure you sign up for Project 863 plus mm -hmm. premium membership. You get extra stuff just from us. You get access to all of the discoveries. Chanel over here has been spending tons of time documenting and analyzing all sorts of things. She's taking up close pictures. In a premium membership, you get access to all that good stuff. So sign up now. Support us in our advancements in 863. <laughs> I'm trying to take down, I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> the evil villains of the world. We could barely even take down one small guy, but it's okay. We're getting there. We're growing. Please help fund us. As attackers. Mm. What are we? We're defenders. Well, no, we're just like, we're, we're just investigators little... and explorers, just... collectors, sure. Well, we're just trying to get that serum, you know? It always comes back to the serum with that's... you, Sam. Well, that's the literal, <laughs> that's why we're here. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. All over the oh. So check this out. So now we're gonna look at Project 863 Plus. What if the journal is the recipe to the antidote and Deb hid the key to the car to hope we would find the recipe to the antidote to save Wes? So that's a good idea. The only issue is we don't have access to that journal. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. And when we saw, there was nothing inside the journal whatsoever. And we checked it a few times and like we did black light. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Do your words ever just like feel like they literally get caught in your throat and you're like, oh, I need to take a breath or something? Words aren't physical. Whoa. They can be <laughs> metaphysical though. <laughs> uh, so what am I saying? <laughs> we did look through this journal. It was blank. We looked at it under black light. And yeah. I feel like a lot of fans wanted us to experiment more with it, but. If it's not under black light, like. Uh, what's what's gonna be in there? There was also another suggestion of using heat. I just feel like those are just too spy. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. why though? Why would someone, you know what I mean? Mm. But we're talking about ancient history. We don't even have the journal anymore. I say uh, yeah. we move on from it. I say we let it go. Has anyone noticed <laughs> the two differences? In here, he's wearing white. Or it's just the same thing reflecting. But when he came back, he's all black like the other times we've seen him. There's also a good chance when he left, he was wearing a sweater or something. And then he came back with his jacket on. Wearing a sweater is 100 degrees outside. Well, I don't know his life, but you know what I mean? Well, like, wasn't a great theory. We don't. We don't... <laughs> Puts on more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know where Ow. he went. I really hit my knee on the table just then. Mm, I'm sorry about Instant that. Instant karma. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, ooh, or maybe he left not in all of this gear and stuff. Maybe he has like another outfit <laughs> or like a, a, like a normal, <laughs> yeah. there's a normal Like people change, him. but the thing is, is like, my thing is he's always wearing this mask. Yeah, you know he what might mean? Like, be wearing the mask there. I'm sure he is because it seems as though it's something that keeps him alive. Yeah. If you notice it here, it's like one of the lights is out and like one of the tubes yeah. is like cracked. It so like it looks he's like he's falling apart. He needs a new yeah. mask. He didn't have any sort of wardrobe in his RV. That was it. Oh, true. I, I mean, we we didn't go through his car though. I don't know why I'm defending this guy's wardrobe That's so true. much. Like, it's like I, I, way oh. scarier to her that he's not fashionable. I know, I'm like, no, <laughs> this guy can't just have one outfit. In the text chats using the phone, assuming they were talking to Wes during these chat messages changed a bit where some of them were nice messages and others were not so nice. And this could have been Wes gaining back a little bit of himself then snapping back into Phantom Wes. Interesting. I mean, when we were texting the Phantom, who I guess we're assuming now is Wes, there was a significant tone shift. On one hand, I thought it was Cyphus, and I just thought like he yeah. was super manipulative. And now, you know, it's one of these phantom guys, and he might just be like mentally ill. Are we all though? Maybe, uh, probably just a little bit. 
<laughs> Did anyone hear the phantom say over the wiretap at the end of the video, someone was here, then immediately hear his voice say strike three? What? I didn't hear, I didn't hear that. No, there was no strike three. I mean, we heard him say someone was here, but I didn't. I listened to it again, but I couldn't hear it. Maybe I missed it. Maybe you wanted to hear strike three, so your brain just made you hear strike three. Yeah, I mean, you know how that happens sometimes? No. Well, your brain's not powerful enough. <laughs> <laughs> to have voices in your to head. Have voices in your head. <laughs> voices in your head. <laughs> your brain can't That's control the voices. That's why she's justifying the voices in her head. <laughs> the voices. They're powerful. Powerful. <laughs> cold read, go. Mara said, what? Best cold read. Okay. Don't look over it. Not 100%. <laughs> Next! Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for your time. Appreciate you coming in today. Not 100% sure where to post theories, but here's a thought. Yeah, so we're gonna make a theory spot for the 863 Plus. Uh, apologies that that's not there. But here's a thought. If you remember the tape, there was a section there. Deb said that Wes knew what Nelson would do to him. Then there was also a section of tape where it says something about nipping a virus in the bud. What if the experiments that Deb was working on were actually a bioengineering virus or something that they were testing? Not unheard of to use use biological weapons, especially by big or shady companies, which it had sounded like Nelson was doing in some of the Apple II transcripts, as he and Wes were arguing about the government contracts that Cyphus had picked up without telling Wes. Now that letter from Deb mentioned about Wesley's health, namely mental, due to the serum's effects that it has been injecting, as she says, directly in the letter. Then Wesley contacts her, blaming her for the way he is, saying that it's her fault. Could Nelson have used this biological weapon that he assumingly forced Deb to create, as in more Apple II transcripts, she was going against some of the experiments, including one dealing with radiation, which is known to be contained in all the serums. Against Wesley? Is he blaming her for creating the serum that now sounds like it's to be killing him if he doesn't keep using it? Maybe that's why he and Deb had to go separate ways. He was getting too desperate to use the serum rather than waiting on the antidote that Deb is supposedly working on. I think that's a solid theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that's probably accurate. I vibe with this heavy. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be what's it happening. feels very plausible. I feel good knowing that the guy under the mask is Wes. Maybe there's still a little part of him that wants to help. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. If Wes is the Phantom, then who is the Phantom talking to when he said someone was here? I'm still holding on to Wes and the Phantom are two different people. Hmm. I mean, my assumption is that this Phantom, I mean, I think it's probably Wes, but was talking to Cyphus. Yeah. Because we've never actually directly communicated with Cyphus. Like yeah. we thought we were texting with him like all of a few months ago and then found out like, oh no, he's more of the head honcho. I don't think so. No? Because I think Cyphus is far more detached from this. I just don't think that like Cyphus would be involved with like the whereabouts of who's in who's RV. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I think that there's several different phantoms. What's happening, guys? Despite the mental exhaustion, I'm sure you're all feeling, remember to make smart choices. I get that curiosity overshadows fear, but please be safe and trust each other. Don't let them tear you apart. I don't know. I feel like we got through that just fine. Yeah, it's okay to have difference of opinion. Yeah, it's okay that we're not on the same page. We have a bigger goal. Uh, yes. uh, we got out alive. That's what matters. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I was it a great experience? No. Did we communicate with each other? No. Are these ever good experiences? Did we... Yeah. Are well, they ever no, good experiences? No, I, I understand, but I, I get what the person was saying. So I don't know if anyone else had posted about this, but I just wanted to say something I thought I know that everything is pretty obvious that the Phantom is Wes, but what if the Phantom stole those documents? Like, think about it. He could be stopping the letters from ever reading reaching the respective people they were supposed to reach. It's a bit far-fetched, but it could be possible. I don't think so. Wait, what? I mean, I think that would be a lot of work. I mean, maybe, but they seem like pretty like personal and specific documents. Yeah, like, they're kind of just have... sitting in a cupboard next to his bed like he read them at night yeah. or something. Unknown versus certainty. This is a theory from what little we know. It seems like Wesley was caught in the middle of a fight between Deb and Nelson. Wesley was just an innocent person who got dragged into this because he was forced to choose a side. But for him, it wasn't easy to just choose. On one side, there's Deb, his lover. And on the other side is Nelson, his best friend. With Nelson, he had already built a relationship for many years. If Wes chose him, he thought he'd have a stable ground to stand on. Since it was someone he knew for those so many years, he thought he could trust him. I mean, I feel like that kind of checks out with the argument we heard on the tape. <gasps> Holy cow, this is so much longer than I thought it was. Whoa. Oh wait, okay, too long didn't we? <laughs> <laughs>
Wesley cannot go into the unknown with Deb, who will save him because he's clinging onto familiar territory with Nelson and is now paying the price deeply. Mm. So yes, this theory is something that I kind of see myself believing is that Wesley was kind of like the middleman. Mm -hmm. I mean, clearly he was like the co-founder of this company mm -hmm. with Cyphus, yeah. so I would assume they had a close and personal relationship yeah. and kind of got torn and stuck in the middle between that yeah. and his romantic partner, Deb. I feel like there was probably a lot of conflict between the three of them. Yeah, money, power, or love. Or love. Why not both, you know? Can't have both. <laughs> <laughs> How do I become an ambassador? Isn't an ambassador just like the no. title? An ambassador is someone who invites a lot of people. So you get oh, badges, yeah. you get various badges and things like that for inviting a lot of people to spell them. Invite people. The more people that sign up using your specific invite link, <clears throat> you get badges. Next! Craig Johnson says, what if after all this, Matt is actually the villain in this whole story? It really seems at times that Matt is separate from the team and goes rogue. Come on, did Deb really reach out to Matt or was Matt the one that reached out, taking full advantage of us as number four to do his work? Matt always seems to be one step ahead of Woods and Sam. There are reasons. <laughs> We're on the same side. The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> is he one step ahead because he's planned all of this and is now working with Cyphus, or is Matt Cyphus, which is why we've never seen Cyphus on camera? Come on. No, I mean that. Come on. So there are times we don't get along. Like you get along with your brother and sister every second of every day. Straight up. Brother and sister. Look at us. <laughs> you, guys, you guys grew up. <laughs> we grew up. No, but I mean, seriously, no, though. Like, I, no one gets along 100% of the time. We are also under immense pressure. And we're and real people. In this completely unknown situation. It makes sense that we butt heads and don't always land on the same page in high And I'm sorry I'm not situations. perfect, everyone that hates me right now. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, because I'm doing the job that needs to get done. Is that okay? Matthias is starting to scare me, kind of. It's like he's getting tunnel visioned on things and putting the team in danger as a result. Also, still don't know how I feel about how he scolded Woods and Samantha when he's the one who what went off I the rails. What I scold you? And, mm, a few times. And his excuse is, I've done so much for you already, so you owe me your trust. How is that wrong? I think it was a valid point, like to mention that, like, although we've been through together, and like, there are reasons why we should trust you. Deb assigned four subjects for a reason. It's not just subject one doing whatever he wants. The rapid course of events isn't really giving them time to sort out their qualms, though. Hopefully, things will smooth out now that they've had a win. All right, no taken, huh? <sighs> Okay, now let's go to the free tier. 863 team after they all had an argument. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> You're just alone. This is just sad. I look like I'm like cool. about to get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Please, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Maybe a template one. Oh, it's the cat uh -oh. with the meal. That's actually really funny. <laughs> that's really So funny. I'm the lady screaming? Thanks, yeah. guys. So you're that's... the helpless cat mm. in this situation. And Great. he's the screaming lady. <laughs> Sam's the salad. Switch? I'm the salad. <laughs> the I'm just salad. in the middle of it and trying to not be there. <laughs> uh, Matt and Woods, small problem. Sam. <laughs> Matt and Woods, <laughs> fandom. <laughs> I don't get it. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> You're welcome. Stall while Sam is outside, unprotected. Take evidence and leave. Woods and Matt. <laughs> we had to get the serum! Me thinking Wesley was going to chase after them, but then he is just the same old, fast, roadrunner, scaredy cat. He did run away. You made a noise, right? Yeah. Yeah, she made a big noise. I ran into the warehouse and just hit the shovel against the wall, but it's the best plan I had, yeah, I mean, okay? Got I mean, it worked. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> Straight up, this is breaking like breaking bad. Breaking bad. <laughs> Literally, what the? <laughs> literally, Wait, what? A big plastic bin. I've never even seen Breaking Bad. I haven't either. We should probably watch it. Actually, probably not. It would scare us. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. Matt following the Phantom. Matt turning and saying they will cut him off. Them losing the Phantom. <laughs> What? You're well, sticking because... a stick in your spokes. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck yeah. a stick in my own spokes. Yes. Yeah. By, wow, there's by... a lot of Matt hate in well, these no, videos. I mean, I'm just saying we haven't had the time to like really reflect and like process what happened in these videos. And yes, you, it's sick. No, you're making it's fine. the turn to like try and cut him off. Did make I us planted lose the tracker? No, planted I know the you tracker. did, and that's planted great. The and like great success. But that you felt also fake. didn't really listen to me <laughs> when I did success. success. 
Great success, boss. But I'm just saying, yes, you planted the tracker and you also didn't listen to me when I told you that the tracker was working, saying that like the Phantom was coming back to the RV. So it's like, you don't listen to your own tracker? I was distracted, okay? There were things that felt more pressing. Woods Exceptional Expressions Day 7, when your mom buys regular nuggies instead of dino nuggies. <laughs> Atticus makes that face when he cries. Oh, that's so sad. Do you have I didn't pictures? say when I make him cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going on the Matthias Submissions subreddit. Check it. That's right. Still use my name on that. Get used to it, Matt haters. <laughs> There's like a recall subject one, <laughs> like petition. I swear, if you start a petition. No, we trust you, you're a good leader. We're all just tense. We just need a vacation, that's it. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. Very that's cool. Really dope. Why is 863 burning? Is this made by a phantom? Get lost. I'm just no, kidding. it's just cool. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. That's I'm very just kidding. Cool. It looks like it's made national by treasure. <laughs> national treasure, yeah. This template, me thinking I understand it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so I do Finally. That. So yeah, that's... We get one that works. Now I get that. <laughs> now I understand the meme. I think people were doing it wrong. Well, but I saw someone make a meme breakdown. Yeah, I wish I, I saved it's in it. Here. But like it made it seem like we actually did understand it with their breakdown. That the white guy is trying to get the yellow thing. Why is it about but race? The pink guy <laughs> but the pink guy is pulling him away, preventing him from getting it. Yes, that. you were right all along. It was Agatha oh, all along. Can you redact that, what I just said? What? Thank you. It's classified. I don't want anyone to ever hear me say that about Sam. <laughs> fisticuffs? What? Yeah, like Wait. fisticuffs. <laughs> you know, like... She just challenged you formally. She just challenged <laughs> Fisticuffs? Fisticuffs? <laughs> oh, here's another explanation. Something a person wants, person A. Person B preventing it from happening. Yeah, that's... What did you think it was? It changed from picture to picture, yeah. so I was like, I don't understand this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checks out. Remember to breathe comic Matthias poster. If y'all want them, I'll make more. Very cool. Oh, that is cool. It is my job to keep people safe, and no one respects the people that try to keep you safe. They just want to yell at them. Yeah, all the tell time. me about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> How the tables have turned. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is an animation. Oh. That's Sam. That's me. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh no. Good that's stuff, Woods. Jesse. I like it. Thank you for making this. Is that skin I see? Yeah, that's skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's either skin or it's like one of those, like, mm. some people have like layers, like mask mm. things. My only thought is because if he's so damaged that, that he, like, what if he, like, there was a fire, like, what if his, like, skin is all burned and so he has, like, um, bandages? Like, bandages on his face. What if it's not? I mean, it maybe like what if this right. mask contraption isn't even what we think it is? The only reference I have is like Bane from The Dark Knight. <laughs> like, really, truly. And what does his mask do for him? It just keeps him alive. Hmm. But it looks like there's liquid in those little vials, which is I'm just... pretty sure there is liquid in those little vials. Clearly he's falling apart. Good riddance. Matt, it bothers me that you sometimes can't trust me. Woods, don't go into the bathroom. Matt, okay, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like about trust. I had nothing to say. No, it's not. Let's move on. Look Whoa. at that. That's really cool. Fan art of Deb and Wes on different sides. Deb being on Project 863 side and Wes being on Syntax side. That's cool. Very, very cool. Does that look like Natalie Portman to you? No. No? Okay. <laughs> What's with you and Natalie Portman? This is just what I imagined Deb would look like for some reason. Okay. I've seen her in a lab coat twice. <laughs> So checks out. Checks out. <laughs> checks out. We shouldn't have been here. He caught us breaking in. Well, well, well. How the turntables. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I truly, like we yeah, he's we breaking in here so many times. Suck it, dude. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Suck it. <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool. Phantom versus Subject Four. SJL. That's cool. That's very cool. Let's see. Wasn't the mountaineer Debs? I don't. I 
I don't know, not Debs. I guess we don't know who it originally belonged to, but this theory is saying if the Mountaineer actually belongs to Wesley, like the phantom that may have been breaking in and stalking us this entire time, and we assume that based on the heart at the hiding spot, he and Deb were in some kind of close relationship, why were there kids toys in the car? Does that very subtly imply that they might have a child? And if they do, could it potentially be the kid we assumed to hear on the tape recording? And whether that's the case or not, why did Wesley want us to hear that recording? Or was the Mountaineer later stolen by another phantom who then planted the tape recording for Cyphus? Wow. I don't think the person on the tape sounded like a child. I know like some people did, but to me it sounded like a grown man. But I definitely think yeah. Dev and Wes like were in a relationship and we never really found an answer for the toys that were in the Mountaineer. But yeah, I wouldn't expect the Phantom to have a child, to be honest. Or they stole the car from someone and then started using it as a stakeout vehicle. Like, true. I don't know. Ooh, what is this? That's kind of funky. I tried with the Sinsec colors. I think I prefer it in the green. <laughs> Whoa. It's like a, kind of like Wait. a pink panther -esque. It's but with the Syntex snakes in the Syntex color. This reminds me of like the aesthetic of art class when I was in like elementary school, if that makes sense. Yeah. I feel like it's very specific, but. I know what you're talking about. When I went to elementary school? When you went to elementary school. <laughs> you're like, I, I vaguely remember. I was teaching. The art. Yeah. <laughs> I was teaching it. Really? Franklin Elementary? That's, That's right. No. <laughs> error. I think it's Ghosts just of a gift. Error. E63, Vile, Mountaineer. This is cool. They're very cool. All of the important things we found. Mm. Oh, very cool. Like that little animal. Ah. The injector gun is so unsettling. It feels like a corporate video. Oh. oh. No. Eerie. Oh, it's getting dark. There's a key hanging from the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Well, we got the box, the Mountaineer. It's like a like Adventure Time animation. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. This I want to see cool. us in this. Uh, yeah. I will find you, 863. I think that's a dead. Just kidding. <laughs> Very, very cool. The team moves the community to Spellbound Plus, the subreddit. We're gone, reduced to atoms. We're still here. We're still looking at the subreddit. But you should sign up for Spellbound Plus. Yeah, I like both. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to We Are 863, where you help us solve all of these crazy things and maybe get us to laugh along the way and loosen up. I appreciate that very much so. So thank you very much. If you're new here, subscribe, check out the other channels, links in the description, and we'll see you next time. If for some reason you missed the main episode, click here. If you'd like to see some of the behind the scenes, check out Behind 863 here. You're not going to want to miss this one.